Monday, October 21st. Yeah, I got my hair cut. Look, when you got a month, and my buddy Boris did it. He did an okay job. I mean, yeah, I got still got my hair, still got kind of some of my color. And, and um, but like I said, when you got a mug that is made for radio, ain't much you can do anyhow. Either way, I'm Mark Friedman. from Just an American Citizen. Today is October 21st. I'm, it's late. I want to get something on. I'm going to be on the road tomorrow. Subscribe, please. I never know where it is. Subscribe. Let's talk about Hillary Clinton. And um, if you look down at all my old videos, you'll know where I stand and where I stood on Hillary. I was a major supporter of Hillary's. I was a major admirer of Hillary's. When she was first lady, she was a great role model for young girls and women who were just starting to try to break through the, the, um, the, glass, the glass ceiling. She was very accomplished, smart, involved, happening. I really liked Hillary Clinton. And then she became U.S. Senator. I thought it was great and still a great role model for, for young girls and, and women who wanted to do their own thing. And then she became Secretary of State and put up with all that Benghazi jive for all those hours. It was 13 hours. Republicans seem to forget all that happened, that fake thing. And and then she was Democratic nominee for president. I had a lot of complaints about the way she ran her her uh, election. I say it down there. And my main concern, my real main concern with Trump was he had no knowledge and was going to totally blow foreign policy. That's all down there. And we're going to get into all this as we go forward. And I'm right. But the problem we got is that Hillary doesn't seem to understand that sometimes things just got to fade away. I mean, you can be a part of it. You can be a part of the flow. You can be a part of everything. But she's turning into Donald Trump. I mean, it's enough to make me sick. She's part of the Flat Earth Society. This Tulsi Gabbard thing is really just absolutely horrible. Look, Tulsi Gabbard is har has horrible foreign policy beliefs. It's my opinion. A total isolation isolationist, just like Rand Paul. You know, you can't live behind the oceans. You're just going to get strangled and die. It doesn't work that way. America has to be involved in the world. She loves Russia. She seems to like Russia. They really support her big time. And she's a big supporter of Bashar al-Assad. Okay? Horrible. She's really horrible. That has horrible foreign policy chops. Not much on domestic. Horrible foreign policy chops. But... She's an American. She put on the uniform of America and fought for America. She's a congressperson, a congresswoman. She is a candidate for the presidency of the United States, or at least, I'm sorry, for the Democratic nomination. She's an American. She's a good citizen. She's entitled to believe what she wants to believe, Hillary. What are you, this the Flat Earth Society? You think she's owned by the Russians, like Jill Stein? Jill Stein was a dupe. And you listen to her now, I mean, still Stein was never serious. She was like, Tulsi Gabbard is no different when it comes to the foreign policy chops, but you are turning into a flat earther, Hillary. What's with the conspiracy? There is no server in the Ukraine that, that stores your emails. And Tulsi Gabbard is not, is not a Russian plant, a Russian agent, a Russian asset, or anything like that. She's an American like you are. That's what she is. And I think that's great that she's running for office. We're entitled to hear all sides. And the Hawaiians, the people in Hawaii and her district must love her. So I say right on. But Hillary, be quiet. Button it up. What did our parents tell us? I mean, you're in the same generation. When you got nothing good to say, don't say it when it has no basis. Zero. Hillary, button up. Let the Democrats move forward. Enjoy your family, please. See you all later. Peace.